What's up YouTube, it's your boy JP, back out again with another review video. So today, I'm gonna be reviewing the Tom King's Vision oversized hardcover that is out of print, I believe. I don't even know <laughs> when's the last time it was printed. So we have, here is the front of it, here's the spine of it as well, and then here's the back. So I finished uh, Supergirl, Woman for Tomorrow by Tom King. And I was like, you know what, Tom King's writing pretty good. Let me read his vision, because I heard I was told that this story is what put him on the map to be like one of one of the really great writers. And yeah, he's so actually leading the team right now for Batman. Okay. And his Tom, the Tom King Batman uh -huh. stories are really good. I've okay. Heard. Yeah, and I heard like ever since this story is when a lot of publishers started like you know seeing him to taking taking an interest in what Tom King writes. All right, so let's take a look on the inside. So here is the um, here it here's what it looks like the the hardcover itself. Here's the spine. There you go. So I'll do a quick basic overview of it. So this does collect Vision 1 through 12 by Tom King and Gabriel Hernandez, Walter, Michael Walsh, and Jordi Belair. So this one is basically, I believe, I don't know if this is a one-off story that doesn't really tie in with the Marvel continuity or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know? But this basically takes place after um, Wanda envisions, you know, when they had kids and stuff like that. So, basically, long story short, we have a vision trying to make a community for himself and have, like, start a family for himself without mm -hmm. Wanda there. So, you have vision and his, um, basically, where, where is it at? Let's flip through. Let's flip through. Yeah, so you have vision. You have his, and he made all these people too. He he made he he made his own wife. He made his own two kids. Wow! So every you, man's dream. <laughs> you know, make them exactly how you want. Yeah. So you have him starting off. You know, people people in the neighborhood are pretty iffy. It's like, what are these guys doing here? They're not even like real people. They're robots. They don't have feelings. Why are you even making cookies? Because they're new neighbors. Somebody made them cookies, and <laughs> like they don't even eat. Why are you making them cookies? And as you go through his household their household, like they already throw away the cookies after they left, after the neighbors left. And they were just walking um, the neighbors through the household and he's just showing all their all the stuff that they got. Like this is the a, a um, lighter that they got from Captain America. This is something from I believe what's this from Agatha? From the Silver Surfer, yeah. From oh from the Silver Surfer. Yeah. So they have like a bunch of cool things like souvenirs and mementos from the from the Avengers when they were part of when Vision was part of the Avengers. So basically, there's no, there's no, not really any Avengers character. You see Iron Man here in here every once in a while because he he needs to talk to him um, about problems throughout the story. But this is this is kind of like a murder, I would say, a murder mystery one. So you have basically Vision and his family trying to you know live their own life together, do their own thing, and then out of nowhere, somebody came and robbed the house. We're well, not robbed the house, but just came and I broke inside the house and started ch trying to kill everybody. Oh. And I forgot his name. I'll just call him the Butcher, you know? Okay. So the Butcher basically came in, tried to kill everybody, and then the mom, I believe, whacked, the, whacked him. She's like, ah, take that, oh. yeet! <laughs> yeah, so that, that, that is what hooked me in the first issue. It's like, okay, you have them trying to start a family and everything, and then somebody was like, no, nah, you can't start a family. Let me go kill you guys. <laughs> I was like, how are you going to kill robots? Wow. <laughs> Haters. Yeah. I believe ever since that happened, the daughter got messed up. I believe the daughter got messed up or the mom. It's a daughter, yeah. Yeah, the daughter got, yeah, she got yeeted out of control. And then you're basically telling, I think she's telling Vision what happened. Like, this is all, everything that happened, you know. Um, he broke in and then he ran away and disappeared and like, you know, they, they, the, the daughter got really messed up and the mom was like, you know, I'm just going to go let her run away so I could take care of my children. But that's not what really happened. She Ooh. covered up the story. So I was like, okay, cool. This, this story is really good. So far, you have, you have a little bit of drama. You have, you know, Vision and his wife. They're not really uh, truthful <laughs> with one another Honest, right now. Yeah. Yeah, because they're afraid that if you do call the cops and everything and say that you killed somebody, then they might be in prison. I was like, what are you going to do with like robots in, in prison, <laughs> you know? And then uh, the, the son, 
he has our he already has a high school bully or like I believe they're in high school. Yeah, so he's already bullying him and then the guy got so mad he's already choking the life out of the dude. <laughs> How do you bully a robot? <laughs> Your parents aren't real. Yeah. So then it's like I forgot, like, they, 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 they already don't want them in the school, and that didn't help out at all. They were, like, trying to kick them and expel them and stuff like that. And I'm like, no. Um, I forgot how they got into school, but the vision was like, remember, I saved, this, I saved the world 13 times or whatever, <laughs> and you're trying to make them feel bad. And I'm like, oh, keep my kids in school. <laughs> Which which is kind of silly. I was like, oh, why are you? Why do you have kids in school That's if true. they're like AI robots that basically have computerized memories? Well, like and they stuff have like, all the answers automatically. Yeah, exactly. So like, why do you even need them in the school? <laughs> which is which is kind of silly. And then you know, as they as they progress through the story, you know, having trouble at school and stuff like that, Vision has to go take care of um, his his. Um, Avengers duties, and then the wife got a got a letter, or not a letter, but she got a, a call or a text message or whatever, saying saying I know what you did, and she's just like, she's getting blackmailed because somebody recorded her burying the body that she killed. Ooh, so and a it, little bit of suspense. In yeah, it. a little bit of suspense in there, and you just don't know who it is. Instead of, I know what you did last summer, I know where you buried the body. Yeah, exactly. So that's what's going on. And then the next issue after that, you have a bunch of kids spraying, spray painting, <laughs> spray painting their door, go, go home, socket lovers. And then the, what was crazy, what, I, I really like this this part. Like She just stuck her hand through the garage, pulled them as hard as she could, just completely <laughs> knocked them out. Like, dang, that was savage right there. Woke up from a dream. But yeah, so yeah, that's that's basically like there is a, is a murder mystery and a lot of stuff going on right 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 there. I'm not trying to make this a 30 minute video, so I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna skip around a little bit as well. But like, I want you guys to enjoy this as it goes. So that's the first two issues. But what it is is there's a there's a lot of things like you have um, what's it called? I'll flip through the pages as I talk about it. But you have um, you have the flashbacks of when Scarlet Witch. And Vision was in a relationship, and then they broke up. I believe her new Scarlet Witch's new like love interest is like what's his name, Wonder Man or something like that. Oh yeah, 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 Wonder Man. Yeah, Wonder Man. So they like this is years later, and like you have like flashbacks of Vision telling Wanda a joke. Like let's say I forgot what the joke was, but they were telling each other a joke in bed, and then um, basically. Wanda started laughing. They had a, like you know they had a nice laugh and stuff like that. And then he tried to replicate that same joke with his current wife right now. And since you know they're synthetic robots and stuff like that, they, the humor is not there. So all, all he did was tell the joke, and they just laid and sat in bed and in, in silence. silence. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, man, I, I feel really bad for uh, for Vision in the story. Yeah. And what was another good one in here was when. Um, uh, yeah, he, he they they finally uh, Vision and Wanda finally reminisce for the first time in a while, and she gave him like a clone of her, like a, her brain or something, right? Okay. So like, cause she was like, I have moved on, you know, I created, you know, I created my kids and stuff like that. I moved on, I'm seeing Wonder Man now, stuff like that, and so he gave him a clone of her mind so he can start a family and basically pretend that is Wanda. But it's really not. So, like, whoever, like, the robot is, it's supposed to be exactly like how Wanda would be. Yeah. And you, you, you know, you see that here as they go through with each other. Oh yeah, you see the joke. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the joke here. I, I'm not sure. It's been, it's been so many times that I went through here. But this was a joke I was talking about. Like, you know, they were saying a joke. She's like, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. And then um, I think towards the, um, the later half, you have more of the drama of, what's it called? Basically, they're trying to break Vision. So, vi like, Vision finally hit his breaking point because his son got killed. I forgot how he got killed. I think, oh, yeah. Okay, so the Avengers were very concerned about Vision because there was a prophecy, I think Ag Agatha foresaw a prophecy 
that vision was going to be the, the, the destroyer of the earth, of the universe, because, mm. you know, how it is, you know, witches, witches be, be, be something else. But yeah, they, they had a prophecy and they, you know, she told the Avengers and they got concerned, so they sent in a spy. And I believe the spy was Vision's brother or like some, somebody really close to Vision. And he, they were just like getting along with each other and stuff like that. Um, I believe it was here right here. I forgot his name, but then like, you know, so he was just spying on them, checking on how the family's doing, just, you know, hanging out, hanging out with the son and stuff like that. And then I believe, where is it? The son, right here. I believe it was right here. Okay, so basically the guy was, he, he was basically talking to Avengers like everything's going okay, I'm gaining their trust, stuff like that. And then the son, the son was chasing a ball or chasing a dog over here because, you know, they have a pet dog now too. <laughs> yeah, they're chasing a ball or a dog and, and then he overheard, he overheard them. It's like, you know, and then um, basically he was like, don't tell your dad, don't tell your dad. But he, the, the son was like, yeah, I'm going I'm to go tell Vision. I'm going to go tell him what you, what you did. You're snitching on me. And basically he was trying to knock him out, but he completely fried his brain. Oh. So like that, that was Vision's breaking point right here. And now... That's what turned him into, like, he wants to become a killer. Mm. Like, this whole time, he was going to be okay. Like, you know, have his own family and stuff like that. Everything's going to be fine. And then the brother went to spy on them and completely fried the sun's brain. So it, it was basically the Avengers and Agatha's fault that Vision Becomes. was was going to become the killer of the universe. Oh. So, like, they were trying to prevent it, but by trying to prevent it, he actually made it come true. Dang. Yeah, so that's what happened. And then, um, you know, uh, the, the wife has started tripping out. She's tripping balls right now. <laughs> she, can't, she can't even, uh, like, talk right, like, you know, has a glitch in her system. And um, I believe, you know, they're, un they're basically under house arrest. Dang. Um, because of what happened. They, they basically, er they arrested, they arrested um, the spy. Uh, the Avengers arrested the spy. You know, he's in jail. And then the Vision and Wander, uh, Vision and his wife and family are under house arrest because they're just fearful of what Vision would do. And then later on, he just walks out. I think he just walks out and says, I'm just going to go kill him now. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I believe a, a, as he's fighting the Avengers, the wife, I think down the road right here. Yeah, here we go. What the wife did, like she's starting to get more and more memories of Wanda, and so she's becoming more caring. Wants and like wants to make sure Vision doesn't do anything reckless and just mess up his whole life. So what she did, and she she did the killing. She was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna save you and save the world by killing him instead of Vision killing him. Oh wow! That, that way he doesn't turn into a killer. So she just basically ripped out his entire heart. Uh, Dude, but he was it was a synthetic guy anyway, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, she was like, you know, I'm gonna save you from being a monster and you know fulfilling the prophecy. So that was really cool right there. And then down the road, you have, oh yeah, so this is the last issue, and I believe she has to go to jail now. Either she has to go to jail, or she had to get destroyed. I forgot what it was. It's been a very long time. <laughs> but um, anyways, so now that she's gone, and then it's just the daughter left, she's going to school. You know, the daughter's fine now. Now that she's gone, it, this is in spring. They, you know, everybody, everybody's back to normal. Vision's doing his own thing. Everything's fine. That You have the cliffhanger of him, like, building, basically making another, um, another wife. Oh, so okay. That, yeah, so that's the cliffhanger. He's like, I'm just going to go make another wife now. <laughs> this is interesting. It, yeah. it kind of reminds me a lot of the actual um, WandaVision show, you know, kind mm -hmm. of having her trying to keep that idyllic life with Vision, even yeah, though yeah. it's like not really him. Yeah. It kind of, it reminds me a lot. I wonder if this inspired that. Probably. Oh yeah. So I, I believe that's what happened. The reason why she went to go kill the, like kill the, 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 the spy instead, is because she was dying. Um, oh. Like back in the very first issue when she got attacked, I think um, they couldn't like restore her memory and stuff like that. Or like she started, gl that's why she was glitching out with all her 
uh, communication. This is yeah. Because, like, she's slowly dying. Her, her functions are not going the same. And now this is, like, her actually dying right here. And that's why she's like, I'm going to save you from being from being a monster because I'm dying anyways. Might as well do you a favor and kill him <laughs> instead, you know? And then you have to collect, yeah, there you go. Then you have them saying, like, you know, the, the dog and the daughter is the only ones that's left. And he's basically going to start a, another family right there again. Dang. So that was a pretty neat cliffhanger. I feel like if you are not, if you were not a fan of Vision or you didn't really re read Vision at all and you just don't like robots, whatever <laughs> it is, um, this one is actually a really great read. You have, you bring, it brings more um, humanity for Vision. It makes him feel more human, makes him like, you know, show more emotions and stuff like that. This was, this was one of those stories I wasn't expecting to really enjoy. I was like, I'm just going to read it because Tom King is writing it. Yeah. But this one's like actually one of my, one of my favorite reads so far for this year of 2023. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So those, those of you guys who have read this, let me know what you think about this story. I know I kind of rushed through it a, a little bit, stuff like that. But for those of you guys who haven't read it at all, I hope you guys enjoyed the story for the first time. If you can pick this one up definitely do i would highly recommend it yeah but let me know what's your favorite vision story what do you think about this one would you rate it for me i would probably rate it i would rate this one actually a 10 out of 10. Nice. there wasn't really any boring parts i was reading like when i read it at night and i this is how i rate my books when i'm reading at night if i fall asleep and i was like ah, i just don't want to read it then you know i'll give it like a one but this one's like oh i'm so freaking tired but i want to read the next issue yeah then i'll give it a 10. So that's why I have it here, because I was like, all right, I'm just going to read one issue and go to sleep. I read like four or five. <laughs> you know what I'm so that's, that's good. So this one's solid 10 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.